I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. This question comes out of, uh, let's see if you can see it, New York Times. Uh, it's an interview with Max Lefchin, uh, who is someone who, he was a, a director with Yahoo, former CTO of PayPal. He started Slide, uh, and he also helped found Yelp, and now he's with another firm called The Firm, a CEO. And he asked the, uh, a, he says he asked a question on interviews of senior professionals. And I think this is a good question to be prepared for. Um, you'll understand when you hear the answer in particular. And the question starts off with, have you ever done a layoff? And what did you do? How did it feel? Now, he's not asking to find out whether you brought them into a conference room. You know, he's looking for signs of emotional maturity here. And, you know, especially for leadership, this is one of the key factors that you could possibly demonstrate on an interview. So you start off, you know, with, you know, sinking a little bit emotionally and go, you know, I've done them. And there's never an easy way to do it. Notice how I changed my voice from sounding enthusiastic to a, a little bit more serious and sounding a little softer. And, and, you, and you continue on by saying, you know, individually, I brought them into a room and spoke with them personally. And from there, you know, I tried to help them find another position. I did whatever I could to be of help to them. I had already reached out to a number of my contacts and where possible, I just handed them a simple slip to say, call this person, they may have someone for you. Now, that's not you. Don't say it because, you know, the lie will, can get exposed. But you continue on by saying, but what I did afterwards was really hard. You know, as they were packing up, as they were saying their goodbyes, I helped them. And I helped them from the place, not of, you know, trying to get them the heck out of here fast, but to talk with them one-to-one -one as a human being. Uh, and be of assistance because there's no easy way to say goodbye to someone who has given their blood and guts to, to an organization who has cared as much as some of these folks did uh, without being a human being and wanting to break down. So you know, that's what I wound up doing. I hope I never have to do it again, but if I do, I have that experience and Ah, and then you have that big sigh that how difficult it was. So, again, they're not looking for the part where you burn them into a room, you know, as a group and say, ladies and gentlemen, you people, you know, it's nothing like that. You know, it's not like a union hall where you brought people in. It's about what happened afterwards. And as, as I spoke, I tried to emulate how I'd want you to feel and how you'd want to express it how difficult that was for, for me just to say it. And I have laid people off before, so I kind of went back to that space, if you know what I mean. So try and connect with that part of yourself that did it, how hard it was. Uh, continue on by talking about how you helped them pack and talk to them individually and where appropriate. You gave them uh, phone numbers and names and email addresses of people to reach out to from your network. and. That will demonstrate that you have compassion for your employees, that you care, uh, and you'll, you'll win that interview question. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you visit JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Have a great day.